guys, how you guys doing? Hope everything is well. Everything is good with me. Y'all is freezing. That's right. I got my thing here, but we're going to talk. Anyway, I came to tell the story about a 17-year-old, Davion. He done did the most. He done did the ultimate. He, he, I, 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 I don't even know what to say. I told y'all, these 2,000 babies, I don't know what's wrong with them. How? How could this have happened? This is just so sad, y'all. Like, for real. This is really, really sad for your child to pal you not once, but four times in the head. Are you kidding me? In front of his... Let me read it to y'all. Because this got me emotional. Because I was like, my, my child would... I don't think my child would ever, God forbid, ever even think about something like that you know this is a troubled child gotta be a teen fatally pals his mother in front of his father and his brother at a south shore home prosecutor said chicago teen davion Pryor is charged with fatally powing his mother tanisha jackson in front of of his father and brother at the South Shore home. A teenager is now charged in the murder of his mother at his family's South Shore home. Chicago police said that the 17-year-old Davion Pryor shot Tanisha Jackson, 43 years old, on Thursday afternoon in the 6800 block of South Carnell Avenue while the family members was watching. Were you just walking around with a pow pow on him? And you just pulled the pow pow out in front of the father and the brother? What is going on? Let's finish reading because I, I got to hear this. Because I'm, I'm, I'm here with y'all. I didn't, I didn't read it first. I'm here with y'all. I just saw a sm snippet of it. The teen has now been charged as an adult, damn right, with first degree murder in the connection to the slaying. Dressed in the all-white juvenile detention shirt and jeans, Pryor appeared in court Saturday when new details were revealed in the murder case. Pryor is accused of pulling out a gun and shooting his mother in the head four times. Why? What, what, what the hell is his problem. It doesn't matter what she said to him, but to pal her in the head four times. Not one time, because one time she may just go there, but four times, and your father's standing there, and your brother's standing there? I can't even imagine what they were thinking or feeling. This is amazing. This is crazy. They said Pryor is accused of pulling out a, a pal and shooting his mother in the head four times in front of his father and his seven-year-old brother who tried just, who, who they just picked up from school. This is what the relative said. People of interest in custody at the woman shot killed inside South Street home in Chicago. During the hearing, authorities said before the family arrived home, the teen had called his mother to talk talk to her about some someone drinking alcohol on the back porch. Okay. The teen father and brother who witnessed the attack told police it was it was as Tanisha unlocked the home front door when when Pryor opened the door and then pointed a gun at at his mother and opened fire at nearly point blank range. She was pow in the head four times. Wait, I'm confused. The son was complaining about Let's read this over. Let's read it over because maybe I said it wrong because I'm confused right now. During the... Wait. 
during the hearing, authorities said before the family arrived home, the teen had called his mother to talk to her about someone drinking alcohol on the back porch. Who's the someone? Like, what he, what he runs the house or something? Okay, you called her and said somebody was drinking alcohol on the back porch. Like, the teen father and brother who witnessed the attack told police it was just to, just as Tanisha unlocked the home front door when Pryor opened the door and then pointed a gun at her, at his mother, and opened fire at bl point blank range. I want to get to this drinking on the porch. This, this is ridiculous. Four times. Four times he piled her in the head. Prosecutor said the father picked up the picked up his younger son and ran to safety. Oh my goodness, the father was scared too. I know, I know, I know. He probably like, oh, hell no. Boy, this ninja is gone. Ninja is gone. Oh my God. Where he called 911. They said they had heard five more gunshots from inside the home. Police said the team ran after the shooting through the apartment back door. He was captured on on security cameras along Stony Stony Allen and his cell phone pinged in the area. He later turned himself in the same day at the third precinct, district precinct. He was arrested at 9.59 p.m. at the 7,000 7, block of South Cottage Road. A 9mm gun used in the attack and 12 bullet cases was recovered from the scene, police said. Authorities said at the time of the murder, Pryor was already at home. Excuse me. Let me read that over. Authorities said at the time of the murder, Pryor was already on home confinement after being charged as a juvenile with a grave battery after being found guilty of carjacking in July. An attorney for the team said in court Saturday that he was in a GED program and had a part-time job. Cook County Judge David Kelly called the attack unprovoked and unjustified, ordering the team to remain behind bars. You daggone right. What you mean? Who, who, who do he think he is to sit there and call his mama and ask her who was on the back porch drinking? None of your damn business, little boy. Like, what? But see, these here, 2,000 babies. You understand? She had a little, uh, a, a, a troubled child anyway. So you can imagine. This is just what they say in here. You can imagine what Davion was doing. You could just imagine. He probably was a terror. If you pull out a Glock, a revolver, or whatever, on your mother and really pow pow her in the head that many times and the father was so scared with the little boy thank god they ran he said he heard five more shots so what was he doing shooting that dude uh-uh he need to stay his he need to stay they need to keep to throw the way to keep on homeboy the court had ordered okay okay uh, i'm skipping this is very sad and tragic in, in this court, Kelly said. The unprovoked shooting and killing of your mother in front of your father and brother. Relatives of the team left court Saturday without comment. The court had ordered a mental 
health evaluation for Fryer, who is due back in court next week. Y'all, now y'all know, y'all know, this is crazy. I'm going to show you him. I'm going to show you his mother. Mm -hmm. I wish they would show Davion. I want to see Davion. That's who I want to see. They ain't going to show him. They ain't going to show him. He's 17. They should show him. Oh, she a beautiful woman, yeah. She really is. She's a, she pretty, yeah. Hold up, hold up. She a pretty woman. She was a pretty woman. And let me show you something else. I want to show you this. She's pretty. See, I say this here. I say this here. I believe in, you know, um, young women having, you know, children. When I say young, I mean like 20, 21, 22. Because they get to grow up with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm just saying that's my opinion. I don't think nothing is wrong with that. I think like, you know, once, you know, if you, if you grow up with your kid, this is my thought. You know, you grow up with your kid, and you don't finish high school, and you did a couple of years in college, and by the time, you know, you're still young, and by the time your son or daughter gets a, a certain age, you can literally go back to school if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, I felt like, you know, I'm you're still young, you can still go back to school, you can pick up a trade, or whatever you want to do. You understand? You know, but she looks very young. You know, she looks... Very, 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 very young. She looks young and pretty. And you know, Davion probably didn't have any respect for her at all. Because he was a street guy. Trust me. He was walking around with that gun. Davion was definitely a street guy. But for him to use that weapon on his mother is... It, I don't even know what to say. It's like, you a bad seed, bro. Ninja, you are a bad seed. You are a seriously bad seed. And the father, you know, he did quick thinking by getting his son, seven-year-old son, and he had to run. He had no choice. He can't stay in there after he did that that many times to his mother because he probably was in shock. He did the right thing by, you know, running with his son and taking cover and calling 911 to get this fool. You understand? Because he, remember, the father said he heard five more shots. So was he literally banging at them? Seriously? I just thank God that, you know, he did not, you know, hurt the father or the little seven-year-old. You know what I'm saying? You know, that had been even more tragic than tragic it already is. That's your mother. That's your mom. That's your mom, bro. Now, but guess what? We're going to see who sent you commissary up to jail. We're going to see. You're going to wish you had your mother to get bring you compensatory, send packages up to you, all this extra stuff. I hope nobody going to send you nothing. And I know damn well the father ain't going to send you nada. He ain't going to send you nada. You traumatized him besides the seven-year-old. He's traumatized. He's traumatized probably for life. Like, seriously. You got to remember, they watched at close range four times. You understand what I'm saying? Four times. So, you could just imagine, then that's like, what? And this ain't had to do nothing with nobody drinking no damn liquor on no back porch. It's what business are they yours? You a kid. You, it, it doesn't make any sense. What he, what he had to be checking in, he, what, he, what, he, what he was telling his mother, you better not be drinking. What, what he was running the household? He asked her who was, who was drinking on the back porch. Who are you talking to? These are 2,000 babies, y'all. I got a little small video. That's all I can find. 
and I'm gonna let y'all say it, but I already told you, you know, what happened with the little 17 year old and my heart go out to the family. I'm so sorry that this happened to them because it has to be traumatic for the father and mainly for that seven year old child. But thank God the seven year old child still had his dad. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all, just wait for the video. Hit that like button and subscribe, y'all. Right. Attack unprovoked and unjustified. A judge ordered 17 year old Davion Pryor detained after the teen was charged with shooting his mother to death in front of his dad and little brother. Relatives of the teen leave court this afternoon without comment, moments after 17-year-old Davion Pryor is ordered to remain behind bars for the tragic slaying. In court, an emotional Cook County Judge David Kelly said, this is very sad and tragic to this court, the unprovoked shooting and killing of your mother in front of your father and brother. The teen has been charged as an adult with first-degree murder in connection with the slaying. Investigators say the violence erupted that's when Davion's father and mother, 43-year-old Tatanisha Jackson, returned home to the family's apartment near 68th and Cornell with the teen seven-year-old brother who they just picked up from school. During the hearing, authorities say before the family arrived home, the teen called his mother to talk to her about someone drinking alcohol on the back porch. The teen's father and brother, who witnessed the attack, told police it was as Tatanisha unlocked the home's front door. The teen opened the door and then pointed a gun at his mother and opened fire at nearly point-blank range. The victim was shot in the head four times. Prosecutors say the father picked up his younger son and ran to safety where he called 911. They say that they then heard five more shots from inside the apartment. Investigators say the teen then ran out the apartment's back door. He was captured on security cameras along Stony Island Avenue and his cell phone pinged in the area. Police recovered a 9 millimeter weapon used in the attack along with 12 bullet casings. An attorney for the teen says he was in a GED program and had a part-time job. Davion Pryor turned himself into officers at the 3rd District Police Station. Authorities say at the time of the murder, Pryor was already on home confinement after being charged as a juvenile with aggravated battery and after being found guilty of a carjacking in July. A judge also ordered a mental evaluation for the teen who was due back in court next week.